Hey, very good. It, it, uh, that game had a, uh, a lot of Boise State written all over it. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, I, I don't know if that travel, you know, three, uh, you know, three nights in a different time zone, if it impacts you that much. I, I don't know. I, I've got to figure it out though, because you know, in terms of energy, uh, in our reaction time, uh, it was very similar. Uh, the difference was we defended a little bit better tonight, uh, particularly the first 14 or 15 minutes of the game when we when we built the lead. Um, our defense was pretty good, and. Uh, but so you know, we just weren't ourselves tonight. 17 turnovers, 19 fouls. Um, you know, that's that's not what we've been about through through the first 12 games. Uh, so I think there's a lot to learn from it. Uh, but you know, I didn't think we played very well. We still won by 17. So uh, you know, there's certainly some positives to build from as well. <coughs> Questions? Do you think there might have been outside contributing factors being off for Christmas here, the weather outside? Do you think any of that played into what you're just saying? You know, they're human. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to practice tomorrow and Friday morning. Uh, so you would think that the, having one foot out the door to be on your way home, uh, that would alleviate that problem. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're used to a certain level of energy in this building. And, and I thought the fans that were here tonight did an unbelievable job. And we appreciate that they were here. Uh, there just weren't as many of them because of the weather. Uh, so, you know, that could have certainly had an impact. Uh, but, you know, we've got a better team, and we have to be mature enough to, to be past that. But, uh, you know, like I said, uh, there's, there's a lot that went that I didn't think we did well. Uh, but we still found a way to, to get a pretty significant victory. Did you sense before the game that maybe there was a little you know, something? You know, not really, Pip. But I thought our, uh, I thought our energy in practice was pretty good the last two days. It was, it was much better than... Uh, um, our preparation for Boise, and, and I thought, uh, and my staff thought the warm pregame warm ups and the, uh, the feel in the locker room was better. Um, you know, they just Tulsa really muddied it up inside, uh, and you know, forced us into some uncharacteristic turnovers, and you know, some of those turnovers led to easy baskets uh, by Tulsa. So, you know, Danny's doing a good job with the, with his young team, and you know, they keep playing, and uh, uh, you know, their their competitiveness kept them in the game. Greg, uh, it seemed like everybody except Eshaniki was, was struggling early on. I think he had 10 of your first 14 points. <coughs> he had five quick rebounds. Uh, how big of an influence do you think he was as far as just kind of trying to keep the ship steady? <coughs> it seemed like it was a little bit tough getting out of the game. Well, we needed him. Uh, you know, Doug, Doug, we had a hard time getting Doug shots. Um, Austin turned it over a few times. Uh, we weren't making perimeter shots to start, so we had to get baskets somewhere. And I thought Gregory was active on the backboards, so defensively in the ball screens. He was very good. Um, that was a big reason they had eight points, I think, 15, you know, 14 minutes into the game. Uh, but Gregory's played very consistent basketball for us this year. Uh, when you look back at uh, you know, what he's done and the consistency with what he's done, with how he's done it. Um, so, you know, I'm really proud of him. You know, he takes good shots. He makes good decisions. Um, he's active on the glass. He's a, you know, he's a big reason we're 11 and 1. What were you most proud of with Avery's performance? The 21 points and the fact that he got down on the floor a couple of times and gave you some energy? I, I thought he provided energy the first half when we were lacking some, um, which was good to see. And it, it's amazing when you play that way that your shots tend to fall. Um, but, uh, you know, I challenged uh, Avery, Jahans, and uh, Josh probably about two weeks ago to shoot, to make 200 threes a day. Uh, and then, you know, report to me how many they made or how many shots it took to make those. So we've kept track. So, uh, you know, we had a couple off days in there and a couple game days. So, you know, he's probably done it 10 days. So that's 2,000 shots he's made in the last two weeks um, that otherwise he may not have made. So I just, I think with that preparation comes confidence. And, uh, you know, there was an opportunity uh, when Josh went down uh, for someone, and Avery certainly stepped up. Uh, into that role and is doing a good job. But you know, besides the threes, he made a couple of really nice aggressive plays going to the basket as well. After the North Texas game, you said don't expect this team to force turnovers to get steals. And since then, you've been gradually going up. And then tonight, 17 steals, 25 turnovers. Talk about the improvements your defense has been doing in the past. Nights, especially. The, the defense is better. And you know, guys have played together a little bit longer. And I think they uh, they have a good understanding of the game. And you know. Through the scouting report, there's certain things that you can come to expect, and when it happens, sometimes you can you can jump a play and, uh, and make a play. But the reality of it is, you know, we're playing against some young guys tonight. We've got a lot of juniors and seniors playing against three freshmen in the starting lineup, and, and generally 
freshmen are going to make some mistakes. And uh, we put them in position with some pressure on some of the ball screens where you know they had to make quick decisions. And fortunately for us, we were able to intercept some of those passes. Two more questions. In 2012 calendar year, you guys are 29 and five. Talk about where you think you are from the beginning of the year. With started with Wichita State um, on the road, and now tonight, how you've seen this team grow? Uh, you know, there I. I you know, I've never thought of it that way, but you know, I, there's there's certainly been progress. Uh, you know, we were a team in, in 2011 that had a lot of near misses on the road. Uh, in particular, when we were close, and made a hard time finishing off close games. Um, I, I think that really improved during the course of last season, and now uh, we've we've already won four games away from home uh, this year against some pretty good ba pretty good basketball teams. So I, I think we've matured and understand how to prepare to play. Uh, in a tough environment, and you know we were because of our ranking last year, and, and certainly this year with our game at Nebraska and at Cal, uh, you know we're we've got a big X on our back, and it takes maturity to, to go into that situation and be able to execute. Uh, so this team has grown up in a lot of ways, and uh, you know to be able to switch point guards um, and have really two different kinds of point guards and not miss a beat is you know was a credit to Antoine when he was running the team. Uh, and now credit to, to Austin. I didn't think Austin played very well for the first 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the game. Uh, but then I thought he settled down and played pretty good at the end and when we put the game away. Update on Josh. Uh, you know, really, there's not a lot to update. Uh, the procedure yesterday uh, that was supposed to be three hours uh, turned out to be a little bit more complex uh, than they anticipated. It was about nine hours. Uh, so as a result, because of when it ended, they kept him in the hospital last night. Um, and he did get out of the hospital at noon today, and uh, they're just going to monitor his heart rate here for about 24 hours, and he goes back in tomorrow, uh, I believe, for, for an MRI or some sort of scan. And, and then they look at, uh, you know, they look at the monitor and see, make sure his heart's responding the way they, they, that, that they want it to. Um, <clears throat> my guess is, uh, you know, he's going to have to have a, the procedure again in a month. Uh, and I think we'll learn some more in the next few days about you know, exactly what they found. Um, but his, his attitude was great this morning at the hospital. He, you know, he was Josh. He talked a mile a minute, you know, and uh, gave me a lesson on uh, anatomy of the heart and how everything works. And uh, so, uh, and then he, he said he was going to cut his hair. And I said, what? I said, I've been trying to get you to cut that for two and a half years, and now that you're not playing, you're going to tell me you're going to cut it. I said, you are absolutely not cutting your hair. So uh, we'll see what I what, what I find when I see him the next couple of days. But uh, Josh is still Josh. A bunch of the guys stopped to see him this morning, um, but it was a, it was a long day for him yesterday. Uh, 